This episode of Papa's Woodshop is brought to you by Milescraft. Hey everybody, Jason Collins, Papa's Woodshop, welcome back. Man, the shop is an absolute disaster. I'm working on about three different projects and I've got stuff going everywhere. So I'm hoping to wrap a couple of those up this weekend. One of the things I want to talk to you guys about today is a product from one of our sponsors. And as you know, Milescraft is a sponsor of Papa's Woodshop. And one of their products is the Accu Drill Mate. Now, when I first started in woodworking, I started doing pin turning on my old Craftsman lathe. And one of the first tools that I bought, other than the lathe obviously, is the Craftsman drill press that I use. And I was really, really lucky to get an awesome, awesome deal on that. But I think a lot of guys who are interested in getting into pin turning can't or won't get in because either they think they need a drill press in order to drill out their pin blanks or they don't have the money to invest in one or they don't have the space in their shop. So today I'm going to show you guys how to use a very, very well built and inexpensive tool, the Milescraft Accu Drill Mate, and we're going to drill out a couple of pin blanks for some of our upcoming projects that we're going to be doing. So stick around and I'll show you how it's done. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to unbox the unit and take a look and see what we've got. I can tell you that during the sponsorship uh, from Milescraft, I've had an opportunity to work with several of their tools. And the thing that strikes me most of all about their stuff is about how really well built it is. I mean, I've purchased, I've purchased items at big box stores, tools at big box stores that weren't necessarily, um, that weren't necessarily the greatest or the most impressive. But I will tell you this: the stuff that I've gotten that has Milescraft stamp on it is has been really awesome, top quality stuff. So let's take a look and see what we've got here. Obviously, we've got the main, the main body, and just to give you guys kind of an idea of how this works. You attach your drill up at the top, you put your drill bit here, and then this, these two pieces actually guide it so that you wind up with a perfectly straight, um, a perfectly straight drill. So, so let's get the thing put together and see how it works. All right, there it is, all set up. So now all we need to do is attach our drill and our drill bit and we'll be ready to go. Excellent. Let's drill out a pin blank and see how this works. So this is absolutely the first time I've ever used this device. So you guys are going to get to experience its maiden voyage right along with me. And for those of you who have seen me 
drill out pin blanks and build pins before. Uh, I went ahead and cut these already. I didn't bore you guys with the um, with cutting these blanks. Coincidentally, the blank that I'm using right now is a piece of ambrosia maple and it's stabilized. So this thing is like absolutely rock hard. Just want to get a little a little center mark on it there. I'm going to get it squared up here in my in my little wooden pin vise. And I'm going to sit this down on top here. And the heat just kicked on. We're in the middle of winter in Mississippi. And while this may not be uh, this may not be a shocker for anybody out there watching this, but it's like in the mid to low 30s here, so we've got to run a little heat, so you'll hear that little sound there for a bit. And I'm just going to line this up. Go ahead and get the uh, go ahead and get the drill installed and, and uh, let's see, I tell you what let's do. Let's put a sacrificial piece under this. Just like that. Get the drill chucked up. And we'll drill this out and see how it goes. Here we go, right in the hole. So there we go, that's all drilled out. Now one of the challenges that we faced here with this is I picked one of the hardest possible things that I could drill through just to kind of show you guys what's possible because stabilized ambrosia maple is like drilling through concrete. And we were using a very big drill bit. Um, I believe this one was about a uh, 11 and a half millimeter drill bit. And one of the challenges with drilling out pin blanks, unless you have something that's really perfectly square, like your lathe or your drill press or something, getting the hole to go through straight, meaning, meaning you start in the center on this side of the block and you come out in the center on this side of the block, for that to happen here with this setup is absolutely amazing because there's absolutely nothing else that needs to be done to this blank other than it needs, it's ready to be glued up and put on the lathe. Now, personally, with the system, with the AccuDrillMate, it was a little bit awkward for me to try to figure out exactly what, what I had going on because I couldn't figure out if my depth wasn't good enough, if the, if the drill bit wasn't going deep enough, or if it was just that that stabilized maple is so hard. And really I think that it was, it was that the stabilized maple was just so hard because if I look at this now, and I'll put my, my little pin vise up here, there's quite a bit of travel in, quite a bit of travel in the mechanism. So I think probably if I did one thing differently on the next pin blank, I think probably what I'll do is I'll loosen up the chuck a little bit and lower that drill bit down so I get just a little bit more travel out of it because if you noticed I had to readjust the pin blank in the middle of everything which it wasn't a big deal everything worked out great I mean I've got a perfect hole drilled here so really all I need to do is glue this up and I'm ready to go so first impressions AccuDrillMate spot on good job nice product and if you guys would, if you would like to have a Milescraft Accu Drill Mate, stick around. At the end of this video, there's going to be um, some information on how you can enter a drawing. Milescraft was cool enough to send me one to use to demonstrate for you guys and one to give away. And I'm also going to include a, a cool accessory with that. So stick around.
So there you have it, guys. Accu Drill Mate from Milescraft. I got to be honest. I was I was a bit surprised. I wasn't expecting the drills. I wasn't expecting the holes through the pin blanks to be nearly that straight. I mean, it's it's really a challenge sometimes to get those through straight, especially in something hard like like stabilized maple, which is extremely hard and and with a big bit like that we're having to remove so much material I was actually honestly surprised that that this device performed as well as it did obviously it was a breeze to put together um, probably would have been easier to put together if I had actually read the instructions instead of just taking a glance at the photo but very well built I mean I'm I, the the device itself is awesome um, you know Probably what I'll do is I'll probably devise a way to use it a little better, probably a little different mounting thing for my blanks um, to stabilize that a little bit. I did want to show you guys one quick thing. In addition to helping maintain a 90 degree um, angle when you drill, the drill mate also makes it available or makes it possible to set your drill angle at something other than 90 degrees and I believe if you look on here you can see it goes all the way down to 45 and it has a positive stop there at 45 it also has another positive stop at 60 degrees and another positive stop at 75 degrees so if you if you need that feature um, you certainly have it and I can tell you that that's that's something that I don't even do on my drill press if I need to drill an angled hole I don't move I don't move the table on my drill press because it's such a pain to get it back to 90 degrees that I just don't do that if I need to drill an angled hole I ha usually have to to cut and make some sort of a jig to do that with so this may be my new go-to for drilling angled holes because sometimes sometimes we do need to do that um, the device also has a a couple of stops on it it has a depth stop here, which is simply a collar that you move to the appropriate depth, tighten it down, and then when you plunge with it, it won't go past that point. And then also over here on this side, it has a stop that locks it in place. So those are, those are two things that I didn't necessarily use in the video, but definitely features. Now, as I said before, if you're interested in getting one of these, Milescraft was cool enough to, to send us this one. And not only did they send us an extra one to, to give away to one of your lucky viewers, but they also threw in one of their drill blocks. And I got to be honest with you, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit jealous. I, 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 was, I was hoping that they would send two of these, but they only sent one. Because it's a really cool drill guide, and you can also even use it. It's got, it's got a V cut. I'm not going to open this up because I want whoever to get it to have it brand new in the package but it's got a V on the bottom of it so that you can that you can drill into pipe and different things like that which to me is always a pain if you're trying to drill into conduit or something like that cuz you know your drill bit's going to always want to wander even if you even if you center punch it so the Milescraft drill block the Milescraft Accu drill mate how do you win them super super simple um Go to Papa's Woodshop on Facebook, simply do a search, or there'll be a link down here in the description as well as right over here, and find this post, again, a link right here, and do the, it's simple, like, comment, and share. Like Papa's Woodshop, comment on the, um, on the post, and share it on your page, and then um, I'll announce on Facebook, um, when we do the drawing and and so whoever wins this get in touch with us through Facebook and and that would be awesome so guys once again Jason Collins this is Papa's Woodshop we want to thank you most importantly for watching and I want to thank Milescraft for sponsoring the last few episodes of Papa's Woodshop because it is through sponsorship that I'm able to do YouTube videos and produce cool things for you guys and stuff so if you enjoy what I'm doing, you can click right here and subscribe. And if you would like to check out the products that were used in today's video, 
there will be links down in the description. You can take a look at those um, and visit Milescraft and certainly support them. Hey, have a great day.